And hello everybody and welcome back to Android 1800. Now we're looking at here in Crown Falls, our beautiful town so far, uh, which is looking more civilized than last time. And as we can see, we have a parade here right now or a festival that is. Um, I think it is what it is, a town carnival it is. It's not the beer festival or anything like that. A beer festival would be awesome because we do lack some beer. But right now, any carnival is good enough for us, right? We do get lots of resources with that and you only have those festivals when people are really happy. And in this case, well, they look happy in this avenue here, walking down the streets. Beautiful, isn't it? A sunny day here right now. Strange thing enough is like five minutes ago it was actually snowing in here and now it is snowing confetti or something like that. So it's looking rather fine on this sunny day. Now what we can see here right now is that we do have the first engineers and project distinction makes it possible that we now have some skyscrapers here as well. Look at them. They look pretty cool I think. Some of them might not fit in here right now. Oh this one here actually does need a street connection that we don't have here right now. I've built some additional farmhouses there but we can have this one here. Look at that it actually fits them into that little um, side street here and then going right into the middle there where we already have some fountains and some trees lurking around so I think this is looking rather beautiful um, bricks is going up here as well so what I've done already is well I've paved some roads here um, with my bricks that I have so much of um, in this case here but I'm doing this step by step you know doing this at once well would drain my bricks way too much and the other thing is that it's just very tedious to do so I rather make this in smaller steps and from time to time we just will do that once we have a few bricks here and there it's a big town already and it's not even half where we want to have it but we are on our way there right now let's just keep bricking the roads that is that is fine and dandy. Now, what, what's going on right now on the global scale that we have? Well, global scale means look at the diplomacy. So right now here on the on the world map, what we can see here that we have three um, areas unlocked right now. So the Arctic is still something that's missing. And on the diplomacy one, we are at peace with everyone right now. So Miss Hunt here, we do have a non-aggression pact for one hour. Um, of course, this hour is not a real-time hour since we are speeding up the game from time to time. So this is running out soon. Um, and the problem here, of course, is once this runs out, well, we are at war again with the old hack there. So she's definitely going to look at her. She's smiling at us. And the pirates, we are well at peace. I've canceled the alliance with Bente. The problem is with Bente is that when I'm an ally with her, she's always kind of at war with one of the pirates. So I never can build up a relationship with one of the pirates. I want that because when you unlock higher stages of the pirates, um, you unlock new quest lines and even new ships and stuff like that. And I want to reach that. The problem is Bente is always constantly at war with either um, Sean or with Anne and it's impossible for me to, to rank up here. So we canceled the alliance there. We are still I like, be delighted oh, she even doesn't like me now anymore. Let's give her some money. And we can still defend her, of course, you know, so we can still defend her. She's still in the new world. And in that case, why we do that? Right, so what do we have to do? Well, first of all, while we have to use the peace, of course, right now, um, we, do ha we don't have that much influence. I've lost a few ships, though, in the old world. Miss Hunt there surprised me a bit, so I'm rebuilding my ship of the lines. So I have three major fleets right now in all the parts of the world. And what we can do now, first of all, what we need to do in Siffington. Now, in Siffington, we finally have some windows and reinforced concrete. That means we can finally go for, well, you name it, the commute pier. And that's exactly what we need. There it is. We can afford it except for the influence. So let's get the commute pier, yeah, over here, I, I should say. It does need a street connection then to the main harbor. And now the only thing that's missing, well, we do need some influence back. The thing is, I've got lots and lots of defense on my islands there everywhere, you know. So it doesn't really hurt if I just reduce it by a few towers. I, I can't see how I should get more influence otherwise, you know. So this one here, this is looking fine. We should defend Crown Falls as good as possible, I think. So in the old world, let's have a look. We do have some towers here in Easterville, which is totally insignificant. It's really just there for some hops there, and it's not even that important. So let's get rid here of two of my towers, right? So that's 30 influence now that we have, and that I want to use 
in Sivington. So now we can build the commute pier. And there it is. As beautiful as ever. So we're going to make a more beautiful commute pier later then in Crown Falls with some ornaments. And right and right there, I need to use the time that we have. We do have in Sivington some oil patches here as well. Really glad to see that. Um, so that we can then transport the oil there right to Crown Falls. Now, one problem that we have, well, we don't have a commute pier in Crown Falls yet. That means, well, once again, we do need to destroy something. I want to look right now if we have... Okay, the sailing ship yet does not cost me any influence, so we will still need to destroy something. I certainly cannot afford to destroy my ships or sell them. Something like that. So what I want to see, what else I want to see is the shares. We do have a few shares in the old world that we could still purchase or sell, that is. So I think here, oh no, she's taken all the shares here already. Here as well, because some of them, you know, we've actually gotten something. What I could do, does this give me any... No, this doesn't give me any influence there. So that's a problem there too. Um, we could give up an island. We could, well, further reduce my defenses there. Not the best idea long-term wise considering we're going for war again, but I do, I so do need my... Commute pier. So in this case here, let's upgrade a few buildings, right? We can do that. We do have lots of artisans. Oh, these farmers here for now want to upgrade. And the more engineers we have, well, the more in uh, influence we get as well. So not investors yet, unfortunately, because investors, you know, that would be really great. Um, they give you lots of influence. So once you have the investors, all the influence problems are gone. But until then, well, we have to live with that. So let's get a few more investors up and running and we can actually do that with this these guys here right new buildings have been unlocked now one thing that i'm not entirely sure about is with project distinction it does add some new buildings like this one here for example you know i haven't seen this one here yet for the engineers the problem is i don't see skyscrapers from the beginning right away so we need to um take it and then we just need to change it um the appearance of these buildings there and then sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't probably because i don't look at that building probably i don't have um the latest mod loader installed that is crashing the game though so i can't use that right now so hopefully we fix this um in due time right now we do have a few guys here you know so a few of those engineers over here and that should be fine for now so that's that while we upgrade those buildings, I also need um, more farmers. As we can see, farmer workforce is quite low. Now, we do have a happy population, though, thanks to the festival. Look at that. Plus 50 almost on some of them. And in that case here, let's just have a, another district here. So we do have still the police department there and the pub. And in this case here, we can just then have another whole district I over there. Oh, and she's purchasing a share of Widow Magna over here. In that case, that share doesn't cost us any influence, so let's purchase it back right away. And speaking of purchasing things, let's go back to the old world. I got some good, great tips from you guys that there are some rare items here um, that, well, ease, ease the production of more complex um, production change, especially the Last artisan or the, the artisan kitchen there. Now, I've re-rolled it quite a bit here. We do have some epic items there now for the trade unions. So this is productivity plus 50%. That's really great. Um, this is for animal farm. Workforce needed minus 40%. That's really great too since, well, we're constantly starving on farmers and stuff like that. But I haven't found the special one yet that um, replaces the pepper and um, beef that we need for the canned food so it's really hard or it seems to be really hard to get him there you know in that case here it, it's it's a lot a lot of um, reloading here as you can see we even get items here for the new world stuff like that so often it happens so sugarcane plantation to pack a plantation okay, stuff like that um great items no doubt and we're probably we're definitely going with them as well at some point but i'm really just here for the canned food production i've seen all the other ones here several times now and he doesn't appear here. So probably he's not even here, but in some other some other NPC. So we'll do that um, a, uh, a bit more often now. Rerolling here to get those special items. Those special people there. There are lots of items. Really lots of them, especially with the expeditions then. 
And yeah, I can't waste so much money on that one here. Eli has gotten a lot of money there on his little island there. We do have three of them, but I still want to wait a bit before I send that flagship there back home. Right, and what I can see is that Sleepy Hollow certainly doesn't need that much of a defense. So we can get rid of those towers there at least, right? And probably this one here too. And, oh god, that influence system. I really, sometimes I really don't like it that much because it forces you to do things that you don't want to do. Right, so influence-wise I cannot do that much. And um, we are waiting for the newspaper. And the newspaper, then I will just re, uh, reduce the propaganda. So last time I've used all three pages. Um, that's, of course, a lot of influence that's in the newspaper right now. So we are just going to, you know, wait for that. Now, but we are not going to be idle. What we need to do now, and that is something really cool. Finally, we can go for the train and the oil in that case here. We do need some electricity. That's one of the goals that my engineers have anyway. And we do need the electricity down here because we have lost the salvager um, in the war against Miss Hunt. Now the salvager is something you can't purchase back again from old Nate. It doesn't appear here, but where you can actually build it is in your steam shipyard. And there it is, the salvager in all its glory. Now for the steam shipyard here, we do need the electricity for it to work. And we do need the steam machines. And that means we now need to build the steam machines. Now, they are a very complex production chain, the steam motors that we have them. They do need steel and they do need brass. Now, we do have zinc and copper um, on this island. Here. Oh, on this island. I always say island. I think it's mainland, actually, in Crown Falls. And we do have copper and zinc here all the way. So we are just going to place now a few of those mines. Um, What's the... Oh, they only need workers. That's good to know. Because I certainly cannot afford any more farmers. Really. And up here now. We go all the way over here. That we have copper and zinc. So that we can have. Let's actually use two warehouses. Because those mines are really quick and fast. There we have two of them. I think it's 15 seconds for everything. Yep. Yeah. So we do need three zinc mines then. So here we would have another one. They don't cost that much lucky for us. In that case, let's make this a bit even and let's have a paved road here too. That speeds up the delivery process. And then we have the sink here. Lucky for us, right next to a warehouse. Let's upgrade that warehouse and build the sink mine. And then we want to have three copper mines for now. We do have some copper reserves later then. And that's for the glasses. But in that case here, the copper here in all its glory. A beautiful buildings there. So the... I think from time to time there's a cart coming down. Ah, there it is. Unfortunately, I cannot drive with the cart. That would be amazing, right? Like a little roller coaster. Coming down here now, the copper. So that's now... Oh, God. I forgot now. Now we have two copper mines. So here we have the third one now. And then we're just going to have another paved road. Or a street it is, actually. Not a road anymore. To that warehouse there for fast delivery, right? So that's that, we have three and three. Next up, we do have the brass production. That is one minute. So for each mine actually that we got, we could place four brass smelteries. Now I'm not going to place 12 brass uh, smelteries here. Plus it reduces the attractiveness. I'm going to have four of them. That should be perfectly fine for now for those motor assembly lines. Oh, and they have good production times there too. That one here though does need electricity as you can see so that's that for the electricity though we do need the oil and we do have the resources for that so i suggest we go finally for the oil so it all comes back to oil and electricity and in that case we do have five oil springs here in a beautiful location they are very close together so in that case we do need electricity and the oil refinery. And as we can see, yeah, we can squeeze all four, uh, five of them into one building here. That's perfect, right? So we can place it here wherever we want, actually. So I can squeeze all the oil springs here into that. It actually doesn't need a road connection, but let's just have one here. And then we need to place those oil wells here. So five of them. And now that thing here is starting to produce. And as you can see, it should be, I think, 500%. Is that right? 
where it's going for 400%. No, it, yeah, it's going for 500% there. And we can further increase that then later, right? So there we have our first oil. Now, only oil is not enough. We do need something else. And that is, well, the oil power plant. And in this case here, we're going to build two of them. What I can see right now is that we are running out of bricks though. But we should be producing quite a lot of it anyway. So we do need, let's see, and let's have a blueprint for that because it's very expensive building and I don't want to risk anything here. We have lots of factories. So over here, we do have our food factory, our sewing machines, our fur coats. They all can be boosted with electricity. Up here, we have the brewery, the bakery, the malt house, the flour mill. They cannot be improved or sped up with the electricity but they can here you know so in this case here we're going to place it here and we will then still have the space for the steam motor assembly so there we would have the first power line as we can see now it takes everything into account here right here and then let's go for another warehouse then here for now and then we have the assembly line now we can have four of them can have three of them actually with we build four smelteries and as you can see they're quite big they don't oh they lower the attractiveness okay that's fine for now in that case here i mean attractiveness really isn't that big of a deal now that we have the palace don't forget the palace so <laughs> it's rather incredible how much that boosts the attractiveness of the town in that case here let's have those motor assembly lines now um And another one here. Big buildings they are. One of the more important production chains. And then we have just enough space for a fire station squeezing in here. Very good. So that's that. And here we have that. And now we do have the three layered road. In that case here we can get rid of this one here. This one. And then going right into that area here to the power plant. Right. There we can then have the tracks going down here and then all the way up here to the oil refinery. In that case, we will not even need a harbor so far. This one here is totally fine. Um, the harbor we'll need later then if we go for Siffington and stuff like that. Now, we do need the tracks. I don't need a blueprint for that. So over here we do have the entrance from the oil spring. There it is. Beautiful tracks there. Unfortunately, the corners are really, or the curves are really 90 degrees, and that is a bit strange there for trains. But anyway, it makes it easier to build. And let's place the other track here just parallel to that road. Something we cannot actually. Yeah, well. Wait a second. So we need to get one more step out here. And then it's possible. Oh, that was 47 steel. That bridge incredible expensive let's see where we can go from here right we go over here this one here we move out a bit and then we can go all the way in here now into that one here here as we can see let's see that one let's remove it again going over here Then you have these strange bugs again that sometimes you don't get the tracks. So we need to get rid of that one here again. Lucky for us, we do get some of our materials back. And now we can connect it. And this one here still now needs the connection. Just over there. For the potato farms. And then, let's see, let's continue. Going in here. And all the way here. And then into the power plant that we have here. Now I can lay the streets over it so we do have the crossings again and we do need quite a lot of them that's fine so here it ends for now but as you can see we still have the layout then for another one over here and then we can follow that road here then right into the heart of the city right in here where people definitely will need electricity as well so in that case here we do have that oil power plant let's build it and there it is. It is now connected. And that means now we should be seeing... Ah, alright, we do need the oil harbor. It's been a long time since I built that one here. So, we do need a oil harbor after all where the train is coming out. That's not a big deal. So, that's down here. 
actually we could use this one or we could use this one here in that case let's use the oil harbor here in the main harbor area that we have i don't need two sailing shipyards anymore that was an emergency situation last time so i can move our steam one over here to my sailing right to but we are going to move that again at some point i need to make some room here now with the storages that we have and now i need to think where would we want to have the oil storage we could have it on this side here or on this side here i think it's better for this one here and we just move the pier then over here right so that's fine so ships just go over there we have the town hall and then here we have the sailing shipyard and between sailing shipyard and steam shipyard we're going to have the oil shipyard if it fits that is there it is small oil harbor it fits very good just need to get rid of the street here and there we have the oil harbor now in that case here i could have it or i'm going to have it here now but we could have it over here too on the second harbor that we have right where we already have a commute pier and in that case here having it here might actually make more sense later then but we'll see we can just move it around then after all, I haven't disabled the function for that. Now here, let's see, there's the road then, or the, the tracks coming out. In that case, going over here then. Right into that street there. Do we need that street there? Let's see. I think it's best if we do it right now. On this huge road that we have there. All right, and I should never forget my diplomacy with the pirates oh, and stuff like and that. Knows Increasing like it with the Sean. Give him some that. money there too. He likes us more because of that, but the trade rights are totally down with that. And... Now, let's see. Here we have now the trains then coming out, going all the way up here. And then... Over here. up here so the the good thing about such a big street here is that we can have trees then on the side for the tracks up to this point here and here we have the connection again with the harbor so in that case let's take the tracks then and going all the way down here Things are really expensive enough. probably the longest line yet and then all the way down here to the oil harbor and there we have the connection right and now we've made the connection here in our harbor and there's the train coming out getting now the oil i guess this is not looking good here though that's better right and all we need now is some more street connections then toe and fro and here we're going to add some of course more ornaments and stuff like that but right now this is perfect and here we just have some more connection over that there we have oh there we have it we actually have some bricks again that's fine so we can have some more brick roads again here we should have it here oh that's 180,000 are you kidding me and but yeah, let's do that. I don't want to... I want to raise my reputation with her. And she knows that. There's still the festival going on. The count town car carnival. Here we have another connection. And here... Lots of festivals here, actually. There is one, there is one. Has ended. And on to that side here, and now we're soon in the harbor. Ah, yeah, there we are in the factory district. Very good. Here we are now, and that factory will now, or that power plant here will now get the oil. Where's the train? Hide the bottle. It's the boss. Oh, it's already here. Very good. So now we should get the electricity there. It's unloading now. Very good. 100 oil. So those factories are now being boosted. And let's also have the warehouse here. Let's have the fire station here. 
and then we can have the first assembly lines. Look at that, 75,000 they cost me each. That is insane, right? But it's totally worth it. So now we have them. And they're also worth very much money-wise if I want to sell them. If I have too much of them, well, then I might just as well sell them. Speaking of selling items, I've reactivated the route for soap as well for Eli, just if you wonder. So we do get a bit of money there again selling some soap to Eli. He likes that he's clean again and probably hopefully gives me some items there from time to time. Right there, we still have the oil unloading. And there should be another train. Yeah, another train is loading here now. Very good. There is another one coming already. With 100 oil. And look at that. It begins to snow again. Let's just have a look in that factory district here. There's the train coming. People don't seem to care. Nor the horses. Going right into here, our power plant. Delivering the oil. Very nice. People... Oh, he smiled because of that, probably. Still taking a bit of time, though, there. Now we have it. And now we are producing electricity. Now all those buildings here are boosted by 100%. So, you know, they produce now 200% of uh, their goods. And as we can see now, that's also a mod that changed a bit here. So we don't have power cords and wires here on the streets anymore. But lanterns now mark that there is electricity. So now we do have those beautiful lanterns. And I think this just fits way more than having wires and cords everywhere. In that case here, I like that. Now also our major motor assembly line is working. It only needs now breath. So we need to finish that production chain. Other than that, looking fine so far. Another very complex production chain finished.